Hello everyone, this is Financial Author Ahmed Dan of Iran Journal. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel, and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing and give it a thumbs up. Today, I'll do an unboxing video and a brief review of the CIBC Air Canada AC Conversion Visa Prepaid Travel Freight Card. And before I start, I would like to mention that this is not a sponsored program and I was not paid for by CIBC or Visa or any credit card company or Air Canada. What you see is my honest opinion and all my reviews on this channel or on Elon Journal are unbiased, honest and true opinion. I do not present any affiliated links or do not make money from any credit card companies doing any reviews or videos so let's go to the video and unboxing and I'll talk about this card briefly thank you and have a good day hello everyone this is financial author Amit Dan of Iran Journal on this channel, you'll find financial, travel, and more videos just like the one you are watching right now. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing and give it a thumbs up. Today, I'll do an unboxing video and a brief review of the CIBC Air Canada AC Conversion Visa Prepaid Credit Card. Now, don't let the name prepaid chase you away from this credit card. Although this is a prepaid credit card, it's a travel credit card and it comes, uh, comes with various parts and features, which I'll talk about uh, shortly. And before I start, I'd like to mention that my credit card reviews and videos are unbiased, honest, and my own opinion because they're not paid for by any credit card companies or any companies, and I do not affiliate do not provide any affiliated links to make money of my uh, card reviews on my video or on my website uh, however if you are reading most of the other videos or other reviews online they offer affiliated links and they are paid for by credit card companies to promote their credit cards but with my site and my youtube channel that's not the case so you can be rest assured that I'm not making money from anyone and what you're listening, these are my own personal, honest, unbiased opinions. So now let's talk about the credit card first a little bit before I start uh, doing the unboxing video of the credit card. So the CIBC Air Canada AC Conversion Visa credit card is a travel credit card, uh, but it's a prepaid credit card. What it means that you don't have, you're not, uh, it's not a, like a credit card that where you have a credit limit and you have to apply and you have to be approved to get the card. So this is a prepaid credit card and you transfer money from your bank accounts or other credit cards to this credit card. And the reason I like you, it gives you the options and choices to make the balance as you like so the first thing first there are options to transfer in 10 different currencies uh, including canadian dollars and so if you like you can put in money in any one of those 10 currencies and then you can uh, do shopping or visit those countries where those currencies are the main currency now let's say if you are in one country where the primary currencies or the 10 currencies are not one of the currencies then you can still charge the card but then it's going to be uh, charged back to your canadian dollar currencies after the conversion and everything and there is going to be a foreign currency conversion fee which is 2.5 percent but if you're charging in those 10 currencies uh, in any countries where those are the primary currencies then you can save foreign currency transaction fee on this credit card which is very important because 
in Canada, only three credit cards, excluding this card, does not charge you foreign currency transaction fee. Uh, I'll not go into details about this. Uh, you can go to my site or you can visit my YouTube channel. I have talked about uh, which cards do not charge foreign currencies in the past or I'll talk about this in the future more. So I'm not going to emphasize on that right now. But this card, although it's a prepaid credit card, it does not, you can avoid foreign currency transaction fee as long as you're staying within those 10 primary currencies. And those 10 currencies are Canadian dollars, US dollars, Euro, Great Britain, Pound, and Mexican peso, Hong Kong dollars, Australian dollars, Japanese yuan. And uh, I believe there are two more, which I can't remember right now, but uh, it must be in here. So I'll, uh, you know, give you from there. And then the other, some of the other features uh, which I like is that you can withdraw money from ATM. Uh, if you do that using any other credit card, then you would pay ATM transaction fee. And if you do that in a foreign country, that ATM transaction fee can be a lot higher. With this card, if you take out money in Canada, then there's no ATM uh, transaction fee, uh, but it has to be a CIBC ATM. And if you're in a foreign country, then you can withdraw money and your first withdrawal is free from any ATM. So that would save you a lot of money uh, when you're traveling. The other thing I like about this card, let's say you're in a foreign country and most of my credit cards have very high limits. For example, they're like twenty thirty thousand dollars credit limit. And I would be comfortable uh, walking in a foreign country with a credit card in my pocket with so much credit limits. Although I know they have all the security features and everything. But with this credit card, I choose to, I choose how much I'm going to transfer or how much I load in the credit card. For example, the minimum uh, load amount is $100 in, that, in any currency. And then their maximums are set for uh, other currencies, which you can find out in the, in the websites and uh, it will give you all the details. So the benefit comes with the fact that you can load, let's say $500, $200, $300 every day when you're traveling. Uh, based on your needs and then you don't need to worry about you know if your credit cards gets uh, get lost or stolen uh, because uh, then uh, you're going to if you lose this card you're going to lose a very small amount so you don't need to go through all the hassle and pain of like in you know, canceling on the cards and worrying about what happened to your cards and it's a, in a foreign country if you don't have access to a phone or if you are in a remote place then that can be a really hassle so with this card, you're avoiding all these and you're just uh, loading what you need and then you can, uh, you know, actually do, you can load money from your smartphone app or from the website. I usually do it from my smartphone and then I just load as I need. You know, I don't need, uh, I don't load too much. I would just be loading uh, based on my needs and then that way I'm secured that even if my card's uh, card gets lost or stolen, I'm still okay because you know I'm taking chances on a very small amount. So now, inside there should be a brochure or manual which will give you all the features again, and I'll go through over through again. So let's start the unboxing. Okay, so here is the envelope. So it comes in a plain white envelope, and I'll start taking out slowly okay so this is the what it looks like the front side and let's set aside the envelope here and what I'll do looks like the card okay so looks like the card is in here so I'll just set this aside for now and I'll go through these uh, brochures. So here you have a small uh, one pager giving a quick start guide so it tells you to activate your card 
just like any regular credit card retrieve and remember your pin because when you need to make purchases online or in stores then or withdraw cash you need a pin download the app and start using your card okay so I'll set this aside here and then we have an information page uh, which is a CIBC prepaid card agreement so it tells you about all the things you need to know about this card so let me see if I can find anything I can mention from here your card your balance safeguarding your card review transaction return of curse liability foreign currency transaction for other currency so it tells here that will convert transactions or trades for returns in a foreign currency to Canadian dollars at the rate of exchange charged to CIBC plus the foreign conversion fees set out in the terms and conditions for foreign currency cards will convert transactions or trades for results in a currency other than the currency of the card to the currency of the card at the exchange rate okay so it's just you know giving you everything uh, cancelling changes termination of the agreement liabilities errors I'll uh, set this aside for now and here okay I think I have found something here uh, let's take a look here okay so here actually uh, you'll find those 10 currencies I just mentioned and these are Canadian okay so these are Canadian US Euro Great Britain pound Mexican peso Hong Kong dollar Australian dollar Japanese even and Turkish Lira that's TRY CHF would be Swiss franc which is the currency of Switzerland okay so if you need uh, ATM withdrawal within Canada it's right here it's right here ATM withdrawals within Canada is free and ATM withdrawals uh, outside Canada no fee will be charged for the first ATM withdrawal in each month so every month you get a free ATM withdrawal if you are in one of these currencies or if you are in a country where these are the primary currencies uh, in foreign lands so let's say if you're in the US each month uh, you're able to withdraw one transaction of US dollar without paying any fees which is a very good feature because let's say you're in Mexico or Hong Kong and you're using your regular credit card or bank card then you're gonna have to pay a lot of money to take out the money to do the withdrawal from uh, your card although it's your own account and again here we have the transactions listed which I just mentioned and here it just tells you that uh, how is your balance debited transaction in supported currency meaning one of those currencies transaction in non supported currencies meaning one of in any country where these uh, one of these 10 currencies are not the currency and then other fees and foreign exchange rates for transactions and everything else okay so I don't see anything else here there are lots of things but I'll not be able to go through all of them okay so I'll set this aside and I have something else in here okay so this side is blank and this side let's see what we find here uh, here the funds on your currency do not expire your card expires on the last day of the month which is written on the card so the funds you're loading in or the funds you're keeping with this card it's a good thing to know that 
they do not expire and if you're if you have a balance and then if you're changing the card the balance will be transferred to the replacement card which is a good thing to know activating your card uh, that's a common sense you have to activate your card checking your balance and obtaining your pin uh, you'll be required to set up a username and password that allows you to log in to manage your account at cibc.com yes that's uh like you know you have to set up your pin your password and all sort of stuff to start uh logging into your uh account and uh, your app uh this is a very important section right here transaction uh okay so transaction limits the following transactions so there are transaction limits for example minimum load amount per single transaction it has to be 100 canadian dollars equivalent so what it means that let's say you if you wish you just cannot transfer or load twenty dollars ten dollars fifty dollars it has to be a minimum of 100 canadian dollars and maximum load amount per single transaction is three thousand canadian dollars equivalent so you cannot uh, load more than three thousand dollars per transaction and then maximum balance at any point you cannot load more than twenty thousand dollars here uh, these are all actually these are all for security reasons which I like and the daily 24-hour maximum point-of-sale purchase limit $3,000 Canadian equivalent so what it means that that let's say you have $20 balance and you lose the card someone you know takes the card and tries to charge $5,000 it's gonna decline because in any 24-hour period the maximum can be charged is $3,000 another security feature uh daily 24 hour maximum atm withdrawal two thousand dollars so you cannot withdraw more than two thousand dollars canadian equivalent in 24 hour period which is another security feature i like and to prevent fraud we may impose additional transaction limits which are good things and other documents and contact us uh so these are the minimum and maximum limits you can have uh, here you'll not find everything but if you go to the website then it has more information and then if still if you cannot find any questions you have uh, just call them uh, each time I call them uh, they pick up the phone right away so the customer service uh, is not bad uh, I would say it's good customer service and I cannot complain uh, so they'll be able to you know offer you assistance in case of uh, you have any questions or anything and there's another point worth mentioning which does not uh, they do not you know clarify here is that although it says maximum load amount per single transaction is three thousand canadian dollar equivalent uh, it does not mean that you can put in three thousand canadian so you can put in three thousand canadian equivalent in other currencies for example, I was trying to load uh, $800 Canadians and it declined. Actually, it didn't decline. It just like, you know, showed everything was okay. Then the transaction never ha happened. And I was worried that what happened to my $800 and uh, my the credit card I transferred from even didn't show that the $800, you know, was charged. Then I called them and they mentioned that when you are loading Canadian dollars, the maximum is maximum is five hundred dollars per transaction so if you try to transact if you try to load five hundred one dollars in one transaction in canadian dollars it will not go through so it's five hundred dollars limit if you are just doing canadian dollars loading however they do not mention that anywhere here so i learned that uh, from my own experience okay so i'll put this aside here and let's go back to the card now so here is the letter we get and here is uh, the card and so this is where what it looks like okay so it says here 10 currencies 45 countries one card simplify your travel with the cibc air canada ac conversion visa prepaid card you can now spend in 10 different currencies using only one card with this card you can pay with the local currency at millions of uh, locations worldwide including making purchases online over the phone and so on 
Okay, so this is the first page, and I'll set, set the card for now. And let's see what's in here. Okay, so they have a frequently asked questions part in here. For example, how do I activate the card? How do I load funds onto the card? What currencies can I load? What is my PIN number? And can I use this card at restaurants and hotels? And what are dynamic currency conversion payments? All sort of stuff which are very good things to know so if you are getting this card so you should go through all of these uh, so it just tells you lots of the things I just mentioned you here and uh, you can just go through this if you look at the card itself. Itself, if you're getting this card and now let's look okay so just give me one second, I forgot to hide something here. Okay, hold on. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Okay, so it's a Visa Platinum card and Okay, so it's the CIBC Air Canada AC conversion freight card. So that's it. The card actually has a very uh, minimalistic uh, face, which I like. Uh, it's not, you know, uh, too much. They didn't put too much stuff on the cover on the front face of the card. It's just very simple design, uh, red and white, uh, I like. Uh, it's uh, eye-catching. Uh, it's not a bad-looking card and uh, It's uh, yeah, it looks nice and neat and clean clean designing so which is a good thing So here's everything about this card and uh, I'll just uh, complete this video shortly and I have more uh, information or I'll be writing more articles on Aaron Journal and possibly I'll do more videos on travel uh, on this card and also I do have uh, reviews and unboxing of other credit cards and I have lot, lots of videos on travel credit cards and rewards points credit cards and everything so you can go through my channel and you will uh, if you like uh, uh, you'll be able to find lots of uh, videos about uh, this type of cards or other cards and rewards and points and programs and all sort of stuff. So thank you for watching and uh, if you like or if you find that uh, this was helpful, please give, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you and have a good day.